Hi, my name is Brian Leadham, and I'm here with Novatel at ION GNSS 2017 in Portland. GNSS receivers operate in an increasingly crowded spectrum, and that's why with our OEM7 generation of products, Novatel has developed the Interference Toolkit. The Interference Toolkit allows users to visualize, characterize, and understand the intentional or unintentional interference that could be happening around them. Once the user has that information in real time, they can then decide how to go about mitigating or removing that interference. If a user is unable to remove the source of the interference, the ITK provides ways to mitigate the interference built right in at the touch of a button or command. Notch filters can remove small discrete interference sources. Bandpass filters can remove wider or multiple interference sources while the high dynamic range, or HDR mode, can help mitigate wideband or out-of-band interference. As a demonstration of the Interference Toolkit, what we have here is the L1 GPS spectrum as displayed in our Connect 2.0 software. As you can see, um, we have an interference source example here. It's a marine radio whose tenth harmonic falls directly within the GPS spectrum. If we turn on the radio, you'll see that right away in real time, a user could notice something out of the ordinary with the spectrum right within this piece of L1 that they care about. So when in the field, the user would have multiple choices. If they cannot remove the source of the interference itself, they can go right away and mitigate it. So we can move in here and decide to add a filter to remove the source. We're going to use a notch filter at the frequency in trouble, 1574 megahertz. And you can see, right away, the software has added notch filters at the given frequency. So if we move in to the narrow passband plot, you can see, although the interference source is still being introduced, it's now being attenuated at that frequency, and the effect has been removed from positioning and tracking performance. 